Hey everyone, Matt here. I have been working on these Baby Advent 2s, doing a little refoam on them. They have these lovely hardwood top and bottoms, and there are some pretty substantial kind of dents in the sides of the speakers and the top. So all you're gonna need to pull these dents out is an iron, a cotton cloth that is damp, and then some additional water. I would recommend not using your actual clothing iron for this unless you're just working on wood that doesn't have stain on it because you, unless you want to just clean the iron, but I have a separate iron to do this. This won't really fix gouges in the wood, but these look like somebody, you know, some pressure was applied onto them and it basically crushes the grain of the wood. And so if we put a wet cloth over it, and it has to be 100% cotton, otherwise it's gonna melt under the iron if you leave it on there too long. And then you're gonna to wanna to change your iron to steaming mode. And then you're just gonna go ahead and heat that cloth up. Heat the wood up, get water into it, check that grain out. And it basically just will soften up the grain of the wood. And it'll, if it can, it'll kind of resurrect that grain. It's, it's gonna take a decent amount of water with a bigger scratch like this. So we're just gonna keep it going. And this might ruin your finish. It depends on you know how deep the scratch is or whatever, but you, you're definitely gonna have to at least touch up the finish after this. Um, but you wanna let it dry for at least a day before you do that, just so that the grain regains its hardness. All right, let's just see how that, how that looks. I cannot see any more dents here, and that big dent that was right here is almost entirely gone. But this does work on veneer. Um, it's obviously not gonna work for huge gouges in the veneer, unless it's a really thick veneer, but at least for smaller dents and that sort of stuff, it'll work great. Look at that. It is barely a fingernail deep. And just like that, with a little bit of sanding, you've restored your baby advents. These are some great speakers that came out in the 80s, late 80s, I wanna say, early 90s. I kinda of like the way they sound. I like all the advent speakers. Generally, the tweeters sound pretty smooth and they just sound pretty nice. They have a special sound to them. These are some of the smaller ones, so they're obviously not gonna reach as low in the good old bass department, but they're definitely worth restoring. And generally speaking, people are willing to pay like 150, bucks, maybe a little bit more for a really clean pair. There's definitely some other upgrades you can do. You can replace capacitors on them and whatever. Obviously, I've just done the bare minimum of taking some dents out of them and refoaming the, the woofers so that they actually work, um, but they sound pretty good. So if you have any questions about audio equipment or you just want to chat, feel free to leave a comment below. I love talking about old stereo stuff and helping people get it fixed. I really appreciate you watching the video and if you appreciated watching this video, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and left a like, that helps me a lot. So thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.